This is uh, day three of Freya and Ron's Handler's course, um, and we're just now starting to work in a little bit more of an urban environment. Up until this point, we've been practicing lead handling and reading the dog in the woods and in uncontaminated situations, and now we're just trying to break into a more of an urban condition. Uh, this is really quite a great trail that Freya runs. Uh, there is a, a big distraction problem right in the middle of it. Um, but what's really interesting is, is even though she stopped from what she's doing, uh, she goes right back to work afterwards. Uh, enjoy. That's a good distance. You'll see the body language change once she starts detecting odor. You can tell nothing yet. Things might be changing a little bit. Watch. There you go. Starting to get something right here. Here it is. Here it is. Search yeah. command. Good. Just use that leash. All of it, let it all out. Get behind your dog. Nice big scent pocket right here. See how all those leaves are collected right there? That's why she did that. Scent's doing the exact same thing. Beautiful work. Beautiful. She just detected something. You see that behavior change? I'm not sure if that was... Uh... Okay, leave that, get to work. Leave it, no, leave it! Leave it, no! Get to work. Chicken bone. It goes right back to work though. <laughs> okay, might have another distraction coming up. Or that could be the scent pool from where we're hiding. Good girl. Tell her good girl. Do good. Good girl. Good girl. So this is where she was hiding before. That's the reaction. So that proximity alert was related to an old scent pool. Big wag of the tail. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have an interest in uh, how we work our dogs and the style of training that we use, uh, make sure you take a look at my brand new book, The Tower of Trailing, which will be available uh, February 2015. Um, advanced copies are on sale right now at my website, gak9.com. Thank you.